Okay, so now we're starting section 1.3. This is the last section of chapter 1. Chapter 1.1 was on line symmetry, dead easy. Section 1.2 was on rotational symmetry, dead easy. And section 1.3 is the most complicated of the three units. It's on composite surface area. So it's not that hard. It's just much more difficult than the first two sections. So we have this rectangular prism, which has this area cut out right here. I'll just take a highlighter and just kind of, this area has been cut out of a rectangle, okay, rectangular prism. That cutout part has dimensions of X, Y, and Z. And based on the topography of this, we have the front. So this top view here would be this part here, right? The, oh, sugar. This part here would be this one here. And, and finally, this side here would be this side here. So here's what we're going to do. If I think about this top view, and I was to kind of lay it on top here, I would realize that this measurement here is actually this measurement here, isn't it? Right? So therefore, the x, if I was to tell you what it is, x would be 16. If I think about this measurement here, it would be this measurement here, which would also be this measurement here, which means y would be 8. Oops, y is 8. Well, I made this mistake here. And this is what, 16 with green? And finally, the blue, which is your z. If I look at the side profile, this is it here, right? If I look at the front profile, this would be it here, wouldn't it? Right? This line right here would be this line right here, which is this line right here. So therefore, it's also 8. So therefore, the dimensions of the missing part would be 8 by 16 by 8. Everyone good with that? 8 by 16 by 8. Now, here's where it gets difficult. That's the easy part. That's the easy part. If I was to ask you how long this is, how long is that? 24. So we're going to write 24 there. And if I was to ask you how long is this part, it's 20. And if I was to ask you how long this part is, it'd be, is it 15? Yeah, 15, right here. There it is. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Based on this, and I guess I could put inside there the other measurements, what were they again? They were 16 by 8 by 8. Yeah? Is that right? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to calculate the surface area of this shape. Okay? Now, to help you out, here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to get you to write down on your paper, on this one here, because you have this picture here, right? I want you to write down a 1 there, a 2 here, a 3 here, a 4 here, a 5 here, a 6 here. Okay? That's the first thing I want you to do. And then, there are also faces we can't see, aren't there? So for the bottom, the bottom that we can't see, this is the bottom. I want you to call the bottom 7. I want you to call... This one, the back, we're going to call that one 8. And then the one we can't see on this, we're going to call that 9. Okay? You with me so far? Call it side, I guess. Side, back side. My back side. So we have nine faces. What I would like you to do is make a chart that looks like this. Call it face call it dimensions, because they're all rectangles, and call it area. So for face number, let's start with something easy. Let's start with, I'm going to put 1 through 9 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Can anyone tell me what the dimensions of this, uh, let's do 7 first, we'll do 7. What's this length and this length at the bottom? We already had it written down back here, didn't we? It was 20 by 24, right? So on your sheet for number 7, you're going to write down 
24 times 20 because that's the dimensions of that rectangle, correct? Right, now the bottom is 24 by 20. I think that's what we said it was. 20 by 24 is the rectangle on the bottom. So therefore, the area of that bottom is going to be 480 centimeters squared. Okay, does that make sense? Now, now what I would like you to do is tell me the easiest way to get 2 and 5. Is there an easier way to get areas 2 and 5 on my shape other than calculating 2 and 5 and adding them together? Say it again. You could. You could get 5 by doing 8 by 16 minus plus yada, yada, yada. That's true. I want you to consider this. Would you agree that this one here is 2? Do you all agree that's 2? And do you agree that this is 5? Do you see it? What's the dimensions of that rectangle here? 24 by 20, right? Do I need to calculate 2 and then calculate 5, or is there an easier way for me to do it? 2 and 5, 2 plus 5 is the same thing as what face? 7, right? So really, really, when I think about it, face 7 is equal to face 2 plus face 5. Do you agree with that statement? So 2 and 5 is equal to... So I'm going to put... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right? I'm going to put 480 here. I'm going to put NA here. Does that make sense? Doesn't matter. I know that 2 plus 5, this plus this, or this plus this, is going to be the same area as the bottom. We're okay. So let's look at face 8. So face 8, I'm going to use this one because it's the front and the back. It's actually 20 by 15. So 20 by 15 is face 8, which 20 times 10 and 20 times 5 makes it 300 centimeters squared. And since face 8 is the same thing as 1 plus 4, this plus this equals 8, if we think about it that way, then face 1 and 4, I'm going to put NA, NA doesn't matter what the dimensions are, it's going to be 300, and the other one doesn't matter, because together they make 300. And finally, the last one, uh, face 9, the back one here, is 24 by, what did we say that was, 15? 24 times 10 is 240, times 5 is 120, which is 360. And the other two, 3 and 6, added together are going to be the same as that back, so it doesn't matter what the dimensions are, it doesn't matter what the dimensions are, it doesn't matter what this is, it's going to equal 360. When I add them all together, I think I have that information here, when I add them all together, I get 2280. Now, if you calculate them by themselves, this is the calculation that you would use. And you can press pause in this video and take a look at them if you want. If you actually calculated the individual parts and not the uh, corresponding sides being of equal measure, these would be the dimensions you got. You still should have got 2280 when you added them all together, I think.